as you can see on the board i have written some problems here and uh, the first problem deals with operations that is divide add subtract of and so on in the second problem and third and fourth these three problems are quite similar they are all based on laws of indices so if you are well aware of the laws of indices then you will be able to find the answer of these three questions very very easily now see the first question here they involve decimal and the operations so you need to be aware of bot mass first and then followed by the decimals operations on decimals so as you all know the bot, uh, famous formula bot mass stands for bracket there are no brackets here so just leave this operation off now see this is off off this is to be eliminated first followed by divide now the divide sign is between two different numbers and off sign is between two different numbers so you can take up these two operations simultaneously o and d off and divide so i am taking up these two operations first and then we will simplify it further see 8 divided by 3.2 if you write it as a fraction like 8 divided by 3.2 then you can eliminate one step here now see 8 and 32 they are multiples but this is 3.2 this is not 32 so you need to put a zero here and get rid of this decimal now 80 upon 32 is little bit easier to handle because they are multiples of uh, say 16 and 16 means 16 fives are 80 and 16 twos are 32 so this is actually 5 upon 2 Plus thirty five point eight. I am not uh, taking up this because we are just uh, simplifying the first two and the last two. Minus and now three point five of three means three point five multiplied by three. As we all know, three point five three times is nine plus one point five. That is ten point five. So we need to write a ten point five here. And now the next step will give you the answer. This is five upon two, which is two point five. Thirty five point eight. And 10.5 is to be subtracted. Now you can do it orally. 35 plus 2 is 37, and 8 plus 5 is 13, so 1.3. So 37 and 1.3 gives you 38.3, and subtract 10.5 from this. 38.3 minus 10 is 28.3, and you need to subtract 0.5 further. So 28.3 becomes. And subtract 0.5 from this, so this is 8. So 27.8. This is the required answer of the first question. So a very simple question, but you know we are likely to commit uh, silly mistakes in this. So we need to be careful while writing the quantities of this question and then adopting the sequence of operations as. indicated in the formula bot mass now let's look at the other questions related to laws of indices now how to solve this now see every term here involves power minus 1 what does power minus 1 mean it just means the reciprocal of the base so if i write 5 raised to power minus 1 it means it is 1 upon 5 Three raised to power minus one, it is one upon three. Power minus one. I will simplify the base first, bracket first, and then use this power minus one. Divide by six power minus one means one upon six. So see, in the first step, we have removed three powers. That is minus one, minus one, and minus one. And now other steps will be very simple. You just need to know how to multiply and divide rational numbers. So this is one by fifteen, and one by fifteen raised to power minus one. And if you convert this divide into multiply, then the second term we have to take the reciprocal. So one by six, the reciprocal is six, and one by fifteen power minus one. Now we have a base whose power is minus one, and I told you here, whenever we have a power minus one, then we have to just take the reciprocal of the base. So what is the reciprocal of one by fifteen? It is actually fifteen, and we have into six here, which gives us the answer ninety. 
So friends, I hope uh, you have understood this, uh, how we handle the power minus one. And um, students who are aware of these laws of indices, you know, they solve this uh, question orally also just by looking at the question, they tell you the answer. And that's the degree of uh, practice you should uh, make in order to clear all competitions. And these kind of questions, they are asked in class 5, 6, 7 level. So we need to be aware of these kind of methods. Now let's see the third question. Again, a question in which we have powers of some basis. Now, whenever you get simplification problem of this kind, first of all, we need to see how many of them are prime. I'm talking of the bases. Now see the base three is a prime number. So I have to just leave this term as it is. So whenever the base is a prime number, we cannot simplify it. We have to leave it as it is for the time being. Now see 10. 10 is not a prime number. The factors of 10 are 2 and 5. So we need to break this 10 into its factors 2 and 5. And we have a power 5 here. So the base 2 and 5 both will have power 5. So 2 raised to power 5 and 5 raised to power 5. So because 10 power 5 means 2 into 5 whole power 5. So again this, this has been converted into prime basis. Now let's have 25. Is 25 prime? No, it is not prime. So we need to convert this into its prime factors. Obviously 25 is 5 into 5. So that is 5 square. So again the base becomes prime. In the denominator we have 5 power 7. Now see the base here. The base is 5 which is prime. So this base 5 and the power 7 will remain as it is followed by 6 raised to power 5. Now if you have understood this much you will be able to tell me that this base 6 is not prime. We can convert this base 6 into its prime factors that is 2 into 3. So 2 will also have the power 5 and 3 will also have the power 5. Very important step and if you get to this step very easily then the next step will give you the answer. Let's see how. Now come to the next step. Now just observe the factors which are having the same base and which lie in the numerator and the denominator. Now the terms in the numerator have bases 3, 2, 5, 5 and in the denominator we have 5, 2 and 3. So what are the common bases we have in the numerator and the denominator? It is 3, we can see here 3 raised to power 5 and here also we have 3 raised to power 5. So this term can be cancelled which has the common base and common power. This is 2 raised to power 5 and this is also 2 raised to power 5. So this also gets cancelled. Now in the next step, now we cannot cancel because we uh, have different powers now. So we have to apply another law of indices that whenever the bases are same and we have a multiply sign in between, then the powers are added. So 5 into 5, we cannot do because powers are different. So 5 will have the power 5 plus 2, 7. And in the denominator also, we have 5 power 7. They cancel each other, thereby giving you the final answer as 1. So again a question which can be solved very very easily mentally by many people and obviously it needs half an hour of practice. So let's see the fourth question. So here we are, a little bit simpler question and this also can be done in 2-3 to three seconds in exam if you have proper knowledge of the laws of indices. So here we have common bases. See you can see here the base is 7, here the base is 7 and here also the base is 7. So whenever the bases are same then our problem is very very simple. And we just need to look at the problem and tell the answer by using the basic laws of indices that is whenever the bases are same then powers are added and we, when we have a divide sign the powers are subtracted. So very simple law. So I am going to use the law a raised to power m into a raised to power n gives you a raised to power m plus n. And whenever we have a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n, then it gives you 
a raised to power m minus n. So these are the basic laws I am going to use to solve this question. Here we have two powers. So whenever we have two powers of the same base, then powers get multiplied. So this is 7 power 6, 3 into 2 is 6, then 7 power 6 and divide by 7 power 10. Now use the first law here. Whenever the base are same and we have a multiply sign in between, then the powers are added. So this is 7 raised to power 6 plus 6, which is 12, divided by 7 raised to power 10. And now use the second law. Whenever the bases are same and we have a divide sign in between, then the powers get subtracted. So this is 7 power 12 minus 10, that is 2. And now 7 square is 7 into 7, that is 49, which gives us the final answer of this simplification problem. So friend, in each case, so in uh, such questions, you just need to be aware of one thing that whenever you have reciprocal of any rational number raised to any negative power, it simply means that you have to write the natural number raised to this positive power. So if you know this concept, then this question will not consume more than 6 to 7 seconds to get solved. But if you start thinking of some other concept apart from this one, then it's going to consume time. So let's, let's apply this one. See 1 by 3 raised to power minus 2. It simply means 3 raised to power 2. 4 raised to power 2. 5 raised to power 2. And 6 raised to power 2. So the question is actually this. It's uh, looking complicated when you see the question first. Off. So now it's just simple calculation write the squares of all the numbers and then this is 25, 25, 50 minus 36 is 14 which is the simplified answer of this question. So how much time we are going to take to solve this if you know this? I think 4 to 5 seconds only that to without use of pen and paper. So let's see the second question. In the second question we have again powers some are negative some are positive and we have positive sign, negative sign, then multiply sign and divide sign. So every sign is there, every operation is there. So obviously we have to follow mod mass here, B O D M A N S. that is the sequence of operation. So um, divide, multiply, add and subtract. So let's see what powers we can remove first. Now see, if you see we have divide here in this part of the question, we have the division sign. So we can simplify this first and this is a separate part of the question wherein we have multiplication sign. So we can simplify this also simultaneously because there is nothing common between this and this. So let's write the first step here. Now 2 cube is 8 and 3 square is 9. So we'll have this term in the bracket plus minus 11 square is 121. We all know that and here we have plus and whenever we have a divide sign, then powers, uh, since the bases are same, the powers get subtracted. So we have 2 raised to power. So I'll remove this for you just to save some space. So if you subtract the powers minus 5, minus, minus 8. This is the exponent. And finally, we have this negative sign. And whatever raised to power 0 is always 1. So whatever base you have, you don't need to... Uh, think about the base if the power is 0 then everything reduces to unity that is 1. Now 8 9 is 72 and 121 plus this is plus 8 so 8 minus 5 is 3 and 2 cube is 8 minus 1. Now the question is just a question of addition and subtraction so let's add and subtract uh, very quickly. So this is 121 plus 72 is 193 and plus 7 this is 200 as the simplified form of the answer. So friends these are the questions you need to solve very very quickly in competitions and uh, knowledge of uh, board mass and uh, laws of indices is a must to solve these questions correctly. So if you like this video do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel.